Hey guys, Rachel here from Superior Singing Method. Today, I'm gonna talk with you about developing various tones for various styles. I get this question a lot from singers, like how do I sing rock? How do I sing blues or classical and musical theater? Like how do I get a different sound for these different styles of music that I sing? So here's the thing, whether you're singing rock or blues or jazz or classical, I think it all runs from the same place. You still want to run out of here in the front of your face. I've talked about this in some other videos, but it's really about breath and placement. So all of the power comes from your belly and runs into the front of your face. So no matter what style you're singing, you still want to run right here in the front of your face, this line right here. All right, so keeping it clear, I'll just sing a note for you so we at least have a basis for what we're starting with. So if I breathe in, Fill up my belly with air and sing a note. I'm singing from right here. So I'm so everything is gonna run out of your face, right? But the thing is, these, your lip, your cheeks, your nose, all of these different things are what I call like your joysticks. They're the things that are going to kind of maneuver. So you can widen inside. We've, I've talked about the soft palate before. You can lift your soft palate. These are all different things or maneuvers that you can do to widen the sound, narrow the sound, bring the sound more forward, but everything should still run right out of here in the front of your face. So I'm gonna give you some examples today of five different types of music, and then I'll tell you basically what I'm doing and how I'm making that happen. So I'm gonna just start with like, I don't know, just a line, you know, the old choir <laughs> warm up that everybody sings like, I love to sing, but I'm not gonna do it in that. I'm just gonna do, I love to sing or something like that, but I'm gonna do it in all these different, these different styles. So let's start first with like a blues sound. Right, so a blues sound, this is a little bit, you know, this definitely runs out of your chest voice. Again, chest run, chest voice runs right here. But I sort of, when I sing it, I am sort of thinking about running it from my chest. So I think, you know, hi, hi, right? Again, it sounds like I'm using my throat, but I'm not. I'm sort of putting a little bit of air, I'm widening here with my teeth. I love to sing, right? And you'll get kind of a blues as, as I widen here and kind of sing right behind my teeth. So let's go and let's get on key. So right here with, <laughs> Um, I'm starting on a middle C, by the way. I'm just gonna sing, I love to sing, right? And you kind of push it from your belly, and again, widen here, and if you push a little more breath and widen the breath as you sing out, that gives you sort of a blues sound. Now, that you can also sing that for rock, right? You could do that for rock and blues, sort of, you know, go um, interchangeably as far as style a little bit um, with your voice. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of musical theater. Now with musical theater, this is just, I would say a little more narrow. So like, I think of like the end of like, the wizard and, right? When there's, she's singing the wizard and I. So it's, that is even just, I'm just sort of, in my mind, I'm thinking, more narrow right to the the middle of my nose on this right so i love to sing do you see how i lifted it there so instead of going sing like a blue sound which is really wide i'm going sing and then letting it come out so it's like it's right behind my teeth and really narrow right here in my nose and then i push again remember the the breath is your power. So you push that, you push the breath right into here, and so that's when you get your vibrato. But it's a narrower sound if you want that, you know, that Broadway sort of sound. Makes sense. Okay, now let's go on to a more classical sound. This is the sound if you're singing Mozart, you know, or anything of that sort. Now this one's a little bit different in that I use what's called the soft palette. I do another video on this if you want more information on that, but the soft palette is located in the back of your mouth, like on the roof of your mouth. And if I lift that, I get a very, very focused sound. It sounds a lot more narrow. And by this, this gives me a lot more control. So as I'm singing these lines, I love to sing. 
and I keep that lifted all the way up and down. So right, instead of kind of lowering it or widening it, keep it narrow and lift that soft palate and that gives you that nice little lifted sound. Now, another genre that a lot of people will sing is jazz. Right, and jazz is somewhat similar to rock and to blues, but it's just a little breathier. And again, breathy doesn't have to be in your head. You have to go, oh, right? We don't want to go into your head and get all this like airy back sound. You can add breath into this space. And so if I were to sing, I love to sing in a jazz way, I would sing, hi, right? Hey, hey. There's that kind of thing, like, I love to sing, right? Ooh, that sort of thing. That's, that's to me sort of sounds, I know that, I don't mean to narrow it in all jazz singers singing like that, but that is sort of a jazz sound when they're trying to get, yeah, 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 right? It's sort of like in here, sort of this nasal, but I'm adding breath and allowing it, kind of widening the space and allowing more breath to flow through. Because with, when you're using your belly breath like that, you can control how much breath is coming through. Right now, pop is very similar. If I'm singing a pop song, same type of thing. I just put a little more focus in it. Right? Mm -hmm. I, I love to sing. I love to sing. Right? It's almost that you know. Have you ever done that thing where you go? Eh, eh, eh. Like that's the only <laughs> the only way I can describe it. Is it's like that thing, like right back, like in the kind of in the back of my throat, but a little more forward. That sort of just gives me a timbre. Again, I'm not singing out of my throat. You do not want to sing out of your throat. That's how you get vocal unhealth. You want to keep it here. But it's like I can maneuver, right? And kind of <laughs> go up into here and get, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, get these different sort of timbres when I'm singing sort of in more of a, a pop way. So there you go, guys. Have fun, whatever genre you're singing. Just remember, I mean, you can you can stick with one genre, but you can sing in a whole bunch of different genres, especially if you're an actor and singing for all different sorts of shows, you're gonna need to switch up your voice. So this is how you can do it. Keep it all here, keep it all running in front of your face, but just maneuver with the different parts of your face and the inside of your mouth. Have so much fun with that. And before you go, don't forget to click the link below and take our singing killer quiz. This quiz is so awesome because it's gonna help you identify what your number one killer is. And then once you take the quiz, we'll take that and send you a video that will help you correct that killer so you can sing in your best, most powerful space. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell above and subscribe, like us down here because we wanna be with you guys on your journey as you're learning how to sing more powerfully and beautifully. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.